Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk about this amazing website called MoMate. They provide AI companions for you to chat with and help you with various kinds of tasks. Some examples are, it can help you learn a new language, prepare for an interview, brainstorm an idea, help you with your cooking, and even with your coding. They use a variety of AI models such as 3D characters, famous people, such as movie characters, creative characters that are built completely from scratch, game characters such as this one from Resident Evil, and even things like roleplay, anime, and not safe for work. Some of its key features include screen perception and image upload so that you can share your screen and let Momate's chatbots read it and understand it for you or you can upload your own images which helps you aid in your current chat. You can also have multilingual conversations because Momate supports over 100 languages. Momate also comes with long-term memory which means it's gonna remember past chats and have your conversation more like a dialogue over time. The pro version of Momate comes with voice cloning, so when you build your own model, you can include voices from Eleven Labs which are pretty high quality. They are also the kind sponsors of this video, and as you see here from their pricing page, most of the features that I mentioned here are available on their free account, so I highly recommend you to sign up and try out. And like me, if you want to use models like Minstrel or GPT-4 or try out voice cloning, I highly recommend signing up for the pro version which gives you all the premium features. Alright, let's try out some of the existing models to see how this works. I'm going to try learning a new language. It says, welcome, I will be your language tutor. What languages do you speak? I'm going to say English. English is a widely spoken language. How can I assist you with your language learning today? Now as you see, it responds by default in voice and if you want to change how it refers to you, you can go here and click user persona. I'm going to say Tom and click save user persona. So going forward, it's going to call me Tom. I want to learn Chinese. Chinese is a beautiful and complex language. It will be quite an interesting journey learning it. We'll start with the basics, tones, common phrases, and characters. The first word people usually learn is ni hao, which means lash hello, class. Do you want to proceed with this plan? Let's say yes. I'm excited for our Chinese language learning adventure. Let's get started. As mentioned earlier, ni hao means hello. Can you try to say it? Now let me try a famous person. Now just cause this is election year, I'm going to try Donald Trump. Now here I can try things like send me a selfie. Now if you want to see what kind of models have generated this AI character, you can go on the top here and see here that the model here used is Nus Hermes L2 and any image generation is done via the STXL model. Now let me try a 3D character. I'm going to go with Hatsune Miku. And there we have our 3D character. If you want to move her around, I'm going to say hi. Hatsune Miku blushes slightly, her cheeks turning a light shade of pink. She giggles softly and looks at you with sparkling eyes. It's nice to meet you too, Zuki G. I'm so glad you came all this way to see me. Are you ready to explore the backstage area? Now I'm going to try brainstorming some ideas with Momate. It says, what problem do I need to solve today? Here I want to show some of the screen perception abilities of Momate. I'm going to come here on the left and click share screen. I have this article open on the right from Oregon Times. Click share and go back and say summarize it for me. From what I can gather, we have a web page in front of us from OPB with a number of latest news updates and reports on damages resulting from a snowstorm in Oregon. The web page also contains various other news topics such as the Thornburg Resort, COVID-19, and drug use prevention. There's a specific newsletter titled OPB's First Look, which curates significant news and cultural stories from around the Northwest, six days a week. The site even presents a few additional stories to explore and an option to switch the stream to OPB News or KMHD, depending on your preference. Is there anything else, or any news headline you'd like to delve into more extensively? Or perhaps a separate creative issue we could address? As you see, Momate's screen perception can read almost everything that's on this webpage including this newsletter, this main news article, related stories, and all the other things you see here. 
I can also provide this specific image and ask Momit to analyze it for me. So I'm going to click upload image. What do you see? Oh wow, this photo is Sublime Zukiji. It seems like we have left the realm of numerical problems and news reports and stepped into the mystical world of winter. Just because I tried the map ice crystals in the before. background evoke a sense of the mighty winters in the Pacific Northwest. The strikingly beautiful icicles hanging from a roof carry a kind of elegance only nature can achieve, indicating the strength of the winter. It feels like the scene of a winter sport event with the sharp icicles even appearing like stalwart ice warriors eagerly awaiting the game. The frost on the window paints a picture as if the chill has made its way right to your home. It's an evocative representation of the cold, unyielding beauty of winter. It takes me back to our previous discussions about the snowstorm in Oregon. Nature can be overwhelming and mesmerizing, can't it? Keep these fascinating insights coming, Zuki G. At any point if you want it to stop, you can just go click mute. As you see, Momate has done a pretty good job in analyzing images and analyzing websites. Now let me try some coding. It says, do you have any specific code issue or you want to learn something? I'm going to say, what's the problem with this code? So this is the code which will produce an exception. It's a piece of Java code. I want to see if it provides me the issue. You've encountered a classic example of recursion, Zukik, but it appears to be missing a necessary termination condition in your code. Method Mowats calls method d, which then calls method won, creating an infinite loop. This is referred to as recursive call. Recursive methods are useful, but they should always have a condition to stop the recursion. Otherwise, it will cause a stack overflow error. A stack overflow error occurs in Java when a program's call stack fills up. This happens because each method call needs to push a frame on top of the call stack until that method finishes executing, but in your case, since the methods call each other indefinitely, the call stack will eventually run out of room. To fix this, you would need to provide a condition that stops the recursion at some point. A logical condition would be based on your program's requirements. Keep this in mind when you're working with recursion in the future. I think it did a pretty good job in understanding what the error in this piece of code is and I'm very happy. Now if you want to learn a language this is also a great place to start but I just want to test this out. Now as you see here there are a lot of models to play with or you could even create your own model right here using the create button where you can create either a simple or advanced model and choose a bunch of options such as the avatar prompt, the specific kind of model and you can choose a voice model from 11 labs if you have a pro account. You can choose the appearance and also have a bunch of other pro settings that's all i have for you in this video because these models are too much fun and i can keep going on and on i hope you got some value from today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video i have a lot more videos coming up similar to this till the next one thank you so much